Hello everybody and welcome back. It's time to shoot some guns again. This is going to be part 3 and I believe we're getting closer to another cool boss here in a second. Oh no, wait. It's episode I think it's mission 5 or 6 and we're fighting the Daltons, I think. They call me Bounty Hunter, Grey Wolf the Apache Medicine Man. Offered Silas a mysterious warning, cautioning him not to wallow in the poison of bitterness and hate. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the dogs got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the same damn street. Yeah, we're... The story was Bob Dalton's girl was always writing him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. Finally, the bastard took his brothers to Cofferville just to shut her up. Well, yeah, we're... the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Oh, God damn him! Okay. Get inside the bank and apprehend the Daltons. Oh shit, did I just waste the oh, fuck? The brothers paid dearly for their stupidity, but everybody knows. They had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. Oh, okay. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months, but now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunt feared by many a lawbreaker. It's this you. one had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. The Marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for some bitches out. This bounty Whoa. hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. So he went in there alone to confront those criminals. One of the oh my god, I keep wasting it. Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That rifle's mine. But he paid him no money. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Then he Hell figured yeah, out how brother. to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. Hell yeah. From Here above. we go. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. Where you at, bastard? We've got company! A heroic men like him, who did what other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Is that Silas Greaves? Son of a bitch! That's Silas Greaves. Jesus, he shot me real good. Oh, he was behind me? Huh? That's Silas Greaves! What the hell? Blank! Blank! He came away victorious, taking down those thieving dogs. Got all of them, boys. Here, come right in. Huh? 
His name was Silas Greaves. And when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Sorry, kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. <laughs> All right, here we go. It was early evening, not high noon. The Daltons blew up a safe and were all set to hightail it out of there. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. The leader, the lover, the loser. Bob, Emmett, and Grat. I've been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. And finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in coffee. Oh, he has it Come on. Where you at, bastards? Hey, you got us an ear of proof. What's rules in them? Those friends came after me like a pack of wild dogs. Tooth and nail. They were coming at me from all directions. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. Problem was, they knew the town better than I did. Top it off. I found myself in the middle of another shootout in the Did the Daltons hold up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. Oh, shit. They were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which wasn't any surprise, as those two families have been feuding forever. And since the Joneses are related to the Browns, they shot at the Smiths, pissing off the Heimhoffers, whose daughter recently married a Smith. Well, bullets were flying every which way as all the old feuds in Kansas caught fire all at once. There was a hell of a lot of pissed off people in Coffeeville that day. But that's just the way life is sometimes. Shit yep. happens. Shit happens. <laughs> Alright, everybody dead here? Wait, can they escape? I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh, that's not what we want to do. The Dalton boys knew I would never give up. Those Daltons weren't the sharpest knives in the drawer, but they always stood together. They set a trap to slow me down and allow at least two of them to escape. The third brother stayed behind to plant me, just in case that trap of theirs didn't work. Oh, wait. Is he going to show up or something? Oh, I am supposed to go. Oh, I'm supposed to go around here. It was him, the youngest. And he decided to stand his ground and face me down. I ain't afraid of you, Silas Greaves. This is where it ends for you. He was determined to protect his brothers. I understood how he felt. Taking me on all by his lonesome wasn't exactly a recipe for a long life. You messed with the wrong damn dog. I'm gonna tear you apart. You are dead, Lodom. Man, this guy's a tank. Holy shit. But Emmett Dalton survived the robbery in Coffeeville. He's the only Dalton who did. They say he was shot 23 times. Well, Dwight, who do you think put all those damn holes in him? But I have to admit, that boy had grit. Nice. Oh, we have found all the nuggets of truth. That's interesting. Hey, that was a good story. 
Bounty Hunter is still my name. Over the years, Silas Greaves became the famous Bounty Hunter. His main ambition, however, was to get his revenge on Bob Bryant. Alright. Alright, brother. Let's see what happens. We'll get those suckers! It took me a couple of days to track the Daltons down. They can't get away with this! And in that time, a whole posse of local vigilantes offered to lend a hand. We'll oh. track them to the ends of the earth. They seemed as determined as me to find those outlaws. But as we headed into those swamps, it was like I had my own private army. There was no way those boys were getting away this time. It was early fall, right? Beautiful time of year. At least you had the weather on your side. Not by my recollection. It was damp and foggy as hell. It was tough to stay on a true course, so we kept an eye out for landmarks. It was autumn. The maple trees were in full color, red as blood. Man, this storytelling is so cool. Fog and swamps the hinder orientation. Were so the whole area was flooded. The vigilantes had spread out wide, and pretty soon I couldn't see anybody. Bury them in the swamp! Where right where they stand! I pressed S. What some, do you mean? Some bitches ahead of me wanted to do me harm, so I had to face them alone. I wondered why my compatriots didn't come running when they heard the shots. So did you find the Daltons? Not yet, but I did have the questionable pleasure of meeting a few of their friends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know you can't be Yeah, you know the boys what? had established quite a reputation by that time, so they attracted all manner of riffraff to their cause. Where you at, shotgunner? Is he hiding? Or did I kill him? Wait, did I kill him? Point B and I was under serious attack. You're gonna have to do better than that. And my reinforcements was nowhere to be seen. Boys want some more. Okay. But luckily, a barn materialized as it right before my eyes. <laughs> I scrambled up top to get a better view. But just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. But that goddamn swamp was like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Steve? 
So I just started walking, and pretty soon I... Oh. <laughs> He's just out. How you doing, man? Steve. Steve. Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Indians surrounded me from all sides. Oh, come on. Engines? They were Indians. No. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now, where was I? <laughs> you were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, oh, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting my eyes. So, where was I? The Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond like no other. It's a bond like no other. Guns blazing fast, revolver reload. Alright, let's see how, it, how the revolver reloads now. Stop that, son of a bitch! Stop it, bitch, son of a bitch! So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet, but I did find a few of their cousins. You Kansans breed like rabbits. More Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows what. You got what hell, what's more important than family? I bet Ben knows what I'm talking about. Any more of you bastards? Oh, I'm gonna put some holes in you. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't see shit. What? Yeah, right, he can shoot me like that. Bullshit. I want to use concentration, but I feel it takes away from, like, the difficulty of the game. Oh, won't I? Right, where's the rest of you? Where did he see me? There's no shot. Oh, that motherfucker shooting me through the house. Jesus Christ. Wait, where did he shoot me from? It's hard to see in the swamp, man. Jesus. Alright, where do we stop? Oh, don't tell me I gotta start at the graveyard.
that all? That might be all of them. Oh, is that invisible fuck again? Where the fuck is he shooting me from? I can hear him on the right. It's you or me. Jesus Christ, you're far. We can barely see the guy. You ain't seen the likes of me. I'm gonna cut you in two. Like I knew those Dalton boys were out there somewhere, standing together against anyone who would threaten them. The game saved, so some shit's gonna go down. when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. A steamboat? In a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheel? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It was then that a few Salada bullets come a raining down Is from that on high. Those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. But among those men that were shooting me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. Where are you getting me from? Ah, you're not ending anybody. Alright, going in guns blazing. There, the dolphins were waiting on me. Oh, you can... Man, I didn't know you can zoom in when you're dual building. Sounds like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am, Ben. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn as hell. I don't have to hide. Silas is a badass, bro. Holy shit. Chad, what a Chad. Right about then, much to my relief, the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them, after months of dogged pursuit. This is, this is, this is bullshit. He's gonna trap me or something. It turned out that they had me. I Get knew it, out. I knew I'm it. I'm sending you to hell. I fucking knew it. The Daltons had played That's me like a fit. Apparently the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. Oh, well, yeah, but I was in a fight. Did you hear that ship that's been launched next year? Largest one in the world? Um, well, 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 about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed to be. Oh, did I fuck up? Whoa. So anyway, don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsinkable. Oh God. But getting back to that steamboat, how'd you get off it, Mr. Breeze? 
I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow, I managed to finally disembark. It was time to settle this once and for all. On, die. I don't know if it can overheat. I see that it's red. Maybe it can't over here. Bob and Grad weren't about to come at me one at a time. They were in this together. Oh shit. Two brothers side by side determined to take me down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. I'm gonna fail this one, I can already tell. I forgot that I have to move my hand. You were focused in 70%, your hand speed was 54, and your reaction time was 0 0.4. I just hand position for a faster draw. Got it. I keep forgetting to move my hand, god damn it. They got it wrong. A sad end for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day and the tragic death of his two brothers. Oh shit, so the third one survived. That was cool. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. The Wild Bunch, Juarez, 1868, Episode 7. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well, I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including Pussies. our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me. Until I heard he was riding with the Wild Bunch. Oh shit. I'm getting into the serious stuff now. Not so great train robbery. Led by Butch Cassidy and the Sundan Sundance Kid, the Wild Bunch was the best. I didn't get to read that. I'd because... been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, 
They were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking, Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. Oh Jesus Christ. Silas is a maniac, bro. Holy shit. Am I supposed to do this? I found the device they used to blow the tracks, so I knew I was headed in the right direction. My ears are still ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? Well, I made my way off unscathed and came upon a few members of the gang and had no choice but to dispatch them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. I jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixing to fall. I had found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past the whole passel of desperados. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. No, 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 no. Gotcha, bitches. Wait, where am I supposed to go now? Wait, am I supposed to throw a dynamite? As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. But I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway. So I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. Bastards? I think you're the one who's dead, Bucko. At times it was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. That was fun. Blew all those bitches up. Alright, I need to climb. Okay, okay. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in? Guns a blazing to help? Uh. Bill Leffers, T. Jeff Carr, Tim Kelleher, Grand Posse vs. The Bob Bunch, Sundance Kid Kid, Butch Cassidy, Kid Curry, Elijah Lay. Holy fuck, the Help? whole crew, man. From the Pinkertons? No, son. I had to fight the Wild Bunch all by my lonesome, as usual. And Grade Ranger. Gold, cold rage, improved damage and concentration. Kill that cocksucker! Uh, who the hell is that? Oh. You are not a man! Get your body to retreat! Retreat! Hello. Oh my god. Shotgunner just fucked you up. He called down the thunder. Man, 
Man, that guy hurts. Holy fuck. Wait, what? He didn't die? Oh my god. I could swear I killed him there. Man, it's so it's so satisfying. The way that did this. Those dime novels didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Only a few stragglers were left. I had to cut them down pronto if I was gonna stay on old Bob's trail. Oh, I can't see anything. Jeez. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? The fastest gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry. And maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. Oh. Man, this is so much harder than I thought. Oh my god, why am I so trash? Do I always have to- oh my god. Do I always have to like whip out my gun faster? Or something? I'll get you, fucker. Oh wait, so if I get... Oh, wait, 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 wait. So if I get to the 100%, the speed was a 97.4. So if I get... Okay, so if I get the speed... Maybe that's what it is. If I get the speed faster than him, then I pull out first, right? Because focus is not as important because I can readjust. Oh, we killed each other! 99.9 .9 speed. Holy shit, my focus is fucked. No. Oh my god. Am I like so 99.5? Okay, this is bullshit. This means that I can do it faster than him, right? Because if, if I get to 100% before he does, that means that I can shoot first, right? Oh my god. Oh. I'm the just killing his gun in the gang. Right after Sundance, I mean. And Kid Curry. And maybe Elsie Lay. Though some folks might dispute that. Same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. Wow. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing wrong in the duel. They Got ended him. up living down there for many years, but I'm sure you already know all about that. We sure do.
130 to hell. Salzgrieves claims that his relentless pursuit of Bob. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail, as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with him. That Kid Curry's kind of crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp no, right coming. outside Parachute, Colorado. Being outnumbered, I didn't bother with a warning shot. I just started taking those bastards down. That's how we do it, boys. Old Bob wasn't among them, and neither was Kid Curry. I could sense him close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. I'm straying away from the story. And I found one. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time, they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. Those bastards. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. The next morning, prevent the gang from blowing up Kid the overpass. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children, though some say it was only five. Kid Curry had bragged to a whore how he was going to rob a train heading to the U.S. Mint in Denver. And that whore, Fat Sally, she told me. The bridge was rigged with dynamite, so I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. Wait, where was I made the... a point to remove any dynamite that I came across. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped my attention. Don't you blow us up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. What the hell? But the Wild Bunch did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Yes, there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Sorry, son of a bitch! Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. Oh, am I pissing you off? Well, too bad. So are you. So what happened then? I had to remove more of that damn dynamite. A magically a it way appeared. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. Wait, where's this other guy? It's funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. Whew. 
Alright. Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. Gonna have to do better than that. Ah! Alright, buddy, calm down. Wait, how is he? Oh, they're not one shot. So I proceeded onward. I realized that that way just wasn't gonna work. I needed an alternate path forward. Wait, what? Find an alternate way. Did that have to do with this rope? I'm just a little blind. Luckily, so I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. What do you mean I had to catch it? Oh, Jesus Christ. The burning fuse was so damn quick. I had to run like the wind. I almost had it. No. Bridge. Thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom. Then, finally, at the last moment. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks here today. Naturally, I removed Giga -chad. the last dynamite charge. Giga Chad. Well, it was a touching reunion. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass as I was not a young man anymore. Well, you seem to be sprinting all the time, Silas. Kill that is me! Make him bleed! Send him to the Finally, I found those boys. Or more precisely, they found me. Jesus Christ. I think I need to use the rifle here. Or, or I finally use my concentration for once. Got a new skill. Let's see. Cold blood and more concentration in the bar. Last 50% longer when you use it. The bar will dissipate at a slower rate. Resupply dynamite looting. No, I don't care about dino. Reloaded guns and concentration. Just focus to be locked and loaded. Your act active weapon will get on automatic full reload each time you start using gun. No, that doesn't. Stack of extra damage for combos. Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn Gatling gun. 
It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. Eat curry. Eat curry. Still, however, had my work cut out for me. Get out of here! So wait, I can't shoot him at all? Got another level, Jesus Christ. Extra damage for combos will be more deadly in your killing frenzy after full fourth level combo, your bullets will inflict 100% more damage. That's crazy. Himself. He had decided to stop pussyfooting around and deal with me personally. Alright, here we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ, stop moving so much! So my speed was okay, but I need to draw faster. As fast as he was, I was just a bit faster. Got him. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch and Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. Well, you dead now, boy. Those were his last words. All right, honorably killed. I finally got an honorable kill. <laughs> so, uh, Bob Bryant got away? I knew I'd never find him in South America. What about the other killer? Yeah, you kind of glossed over that one. Well, I found Jim not long after my showdown with Ringo. At the time, he was riding with the James Younger gang. Did I neglect to mention that? Episode 8, Jesse James. Ooh, Jesse James. Jesse James? The greatest outlaw who ever lived? Jesse and his kin rode with Quantrill when he raided Lawrence, Kansas and killed near 200 people, boy. Jesus. Uh, nothing great about that. 
And Holy from there, shit. him and his brother went on to rob banks and trains from Kansas to Missouri. Which is why there was such a rich bounty on their heads. 40 grand for both of them, dead or alive. That's one hell of a payday. Jeez, this is gonna be a big one, guys. Death rides a steel stallion. According to Silas, another uh, of his brother's murderers robbed trains with Jesse James. Alright, guys. I hope you like this. Let's not spoil anything. And I will see you in episode 4. Um, I hope you like it. I think we're getting... Um, I think we're like... I'm assuming we're like 60% of the game through. Um, I might be completely wrong, but hey, we'll 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 find out in the in the next episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.